Hello everyone, great to have the pleasure of your company here at Bramall Lane. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary position is Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Sheffield United up against Tottenham Hotspur. Hi Derek, thank you. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to start off the game really quickly. Really attack the opposition, put them on the back foot, see what comes of that. Hopefully we get a good game. Here's how the lineup looks for Sheffield United. The wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. You've played in that position, Lee. Yeah, I didn't really like it. And we always thought when we were playing against five at the back with the wing backs exposed like this in this formation, that a 4 4 2 can really create a 2 v 1 down the side. So keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players to supply the support for the two forwards up front. Good luck. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. A 4-4-2, but with a diamond lead. Yeah, there's four players in midfield, but really only three. The two wide players will stay wide and help the full-backs. There's one just sitting in front of the back four, but the number 10 is slightly advanced. He will provide the support for the strikers. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And so the match is underway. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Harry Winks now. Aarons. Lucas with it. Splendid tackle, and a throw-in coming up. Winks. Steven Bergwijn. Kane. He's got to score! Goalkeeping of the very highest order. Oh, it was a great shot as well. Great shot, great save. Danny Olmo. Now Harry Kane. Odson Edouard. Can he take advantage? And putting his body on the line. Corner kick played in, and a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, quite a lot of the time you need good movement to get away from your marker, but you also need brilliant, brilliant delivery. And this is as good as it gets. What a header. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. So back in business, and it spurs in front here. Stevens. Jack O'Connell. Throw in here for Spurs. Grimaldo. Danny Olmo with it. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. And so it will be a corner. Over it comes. Well, he was being pursued furiously. The effort, though, nothing to write home about, really. No, I think you give the credit to the defender there. Just put him off balance.
was in the right place to intercept. Well, great read there to intercept. Oscar Opaso. Lee. Berger with it. And it's with Kevin Lasagna. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. A bit sloppy in possession. And using his strength to shield the ball. Well, the keeper had to be watchful, getting his fingertips to it. Big corner here. Listen to the fans. They need to use that energy to suck the ball in. He's driven in the corner. That's all they can conjure for now. Given away by Tottenham. Working really well as a team to regain possession. And the cross is very much on. Now the cross was deep, a little too deep. Throw-ins given. Harry Winks now. Danny Olmo. And possession lost, intercepted. And that's an important intervention. Now Harry Kane. Danny Olmo with it. My goodness, it looked as though he was clean through. And the referee, what will he do here? Well, you cannot put in an illegal challenge under those circumstances. Red card it is. Well, he didn't even look for it, did he? He didn't wait for the referee. He knew it was coming. Off he goes. They will now make use of the substitute's bench. Let's have a look at it again. We know he's good from dead balls. Could the keeper do better? I'm not so sure. I'd like to give the credit to the scorer. What a good free kick that is. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. Second goal for them here. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Kangin Lee. Berger with it. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And he cuts inside. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. And Edouard with it. And threading it forward. It could be the big moment for him. Well, it's a procession of goals. And surely there's no way they can let this slip now. Absolutely dominant. Well, the keeper will be frustrated. He thought he'd saved it. He's so unlucky there. It's a good angle from him as well, but it's in the back of the net. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. 27, Lucas. 
And so at the halfway stage here, and the fans are very close to us, and they are extremely vocal at the moment. A sense of injustice over that red card decision, Lee. Well, you can't blame the fans. They all get wrapped up in the emotion. He made an error of judgment there, he really did, and it's going to be a tough second half, a man down. The second half commences. It was such a one-sided first half. Might it be different this time round? Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. Harry Winks now. Lucas. Ahrens. Possession changes hands, the interception there. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Sheffield United facing Burnley. Yeah, the fix is coming thick and fast. Should be a good game, that. Well, hopefully that's not the commentator's curse. This is the home of live football, EA TV. And how about this for live action coming? And he's broken free! The goals keep going in for them. I don't think they're going to throw this away now. Absolutely omnipotent. Well, here it is. A striker's bread and butter. Simple finish, but it's the positioning that gets him the goal. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. And a substitution in the offing. Well, we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. Well, there's been speculation out there for a while now, but if the reports are to be believed, Atletico Madrid will have a new player on the books, Lee. Well, Derek, I've heard around £50 million for this player. The bid's, I think, gone in. Not sure that's going to be accepted, though. Winks. Danny Olmo. Half an hour remaining, then. Kane. Passing it with a bit of panache. Winks. Danny Olmo. And the cross is very much on. It's with Bergwijn. Fruitful looking attack. And a very good challenge. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Berger with it. Stevens. And possession lost, intercepted. Danny Olmo. Kane. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Berger with it. Stevens. Roger. Real danger. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. So it's going to be a goal kick here. Well, it just seems in this game he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Lee. Yeah, he's a dream player to have in your ranks. Ticks all the boxes for me. The player that everybody looks to, to create something. And he does it brilliantly well. Done it again today. It's opening up for them. And he favours the inside route. Had to come up with the ball and did. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. John Egan Oscar Opaso and Opaso might be able to get in behind the defence crossing possibilities well the clearance half-hearted Winks well real difficulty keeping the ball Possession changes hands, the interception there. 
Can they get in behind them? He continues to make hay. Kane. The outcome is a goal kick here. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. And Edouard with it. Now Harry Kane. Lucas Moura. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes. And that completes an impressive hat trick. Well, keep counting. Three now. But at this rate, he's in for a hatful. Well, having scored two, he's going to get the hat trick at some point, you feel. He's just so full of confidence. Never looked like missing. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And there goes the full-time whistle, and I think you can hear at home what the fans are thinking. Still seething following the issuing of the red card, and they're not happy about the results either. Well, they can shout all the want, but it's just indiscipline from the player. It really is a poor decision. Three now, but at this rate, he's in for a hatful. 